Well, good evening, Grace Baptist Church. Coming to you on a Sunday evening, Palm Sunday as it's known, uh, relating to the triumphal entry of Christ into the city of Jerusalem as the people put palm branches down on the roadway as he rides in on a donkey. This is Passion Week. It begins uh, today and runs through next Sunday, Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. This, of course, is an Easter season like no other. We have not been able to gather for a number of Sundays and will not be able to gather uh, for the next little while. And so in light of that, I thought that I would make a video a week and post them uh, as we walk through this Passion Week together. There is an excellent book that I highly recommend to you. It's called The Final Days of Jesus, and the subtitle is The Most Important Week of the Most Important Person Who Ever Lived. Excellent book, highly recommended to you, and uh, it is one of the sources of, the, of material for uh, this uh, study as we walk through the Passion Week. So take your Bibles if you have them, Matthew chapter 21, Matthew chapter 21, and we want to read this narrative of Christ's triumphal entry into Jerusalem. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, and put on, put on them their cloaks, and he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up, saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. This is an exciting time in the life of the nation of Israel. It is Passover week. This celebration of the freedom that the nation of Israel received from the Lord when he brought them out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Ten plagues, the last being the death of the firstborn, when the death angel passed over the children of Israel because of the blood on the door. And so this Passover celebration, which Jesus will observe with his disciples on Thursday of this week, uh, the festival surrounding it is in full swing. Jerusalem, scholars believe, was a city of roughly about 40,000 people at this time. And around this time, because of all the pilgrims that were in town, it could swell to about six times that number. So imagine a town the size of Charlottetown uh, swelling to about almost 250,000 people around this one week. It's a lot of activity. There's a buzz in the air. Jesus has just raised Lazarus back to life from the dead not too long ago. And so there's lots of questions surrounding him, and he does this uh, act. He rides into Jerusalem on a donkey. What is symbolic about this act? I think there are three things that we need to note. One note from the text that says, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you. Jesus is coming unmistakably as the king of Israel. In 1 Kings, we read of the coronation of uh, Solomon. And... Uh, one of uh, David's other sons, Adonijah, has attempted to take the throne, noting that his, knowing that his father is on his deathbed. So Bathsheba and Nathan the prophet come to David and let him know what is going on. And as Adonijah and some of his buddies are having their own party, uh, these are David's instructions. He says in verse 33 of 1 Kings chapter 1, And the king said to them, Take with you the servants of your Lord, and have Solomon my son ride on my own mule, and bring him down to Cahan. And so Solomon is paraded into Jerusalem, brought into Jerusalem on, on most likely the identical route that Jesus takes on his father, King David's donkey, on his father's mule. And so there, nobody in Jerusalem would have missed the symbolism here. A king had ridden into Jerusalem before, but it was King Solomon. Here, this, this other son of David rides in on a donkey but he is not only a king, he is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords, Jesus Christ the righteous. Unmistakably the act 
of a king. And also, as we note from the text in Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 9, uh, which is the text being quoted by Matthew, it notes that this king will also be humble. A donkey is not a war horse. A donkey is not part of a military, a show of military might. A uh, donkey is a humble animal in some respects. At least this act is the act of a humble person. Jesus does not come then to wrest power from the Romans and overthrow their uh, oppression by military means. Yes, this is an act of a king, but it is done on a donkey in humility. There's a third thing I think we need to note, and that is something that is left out by both Matthew and John, the two gospel authors that talk about the triumphal entry. If you read the text from Zechariah 9.9, it says, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. Righteous and having salvation is he. Humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Jesus is not only king and king of kings and lord of lords. He is not only humble, but he is both righteous and he brings salvation. And the salvation that he brings, he's going to pay for personally. And that, of course, is going to happen on Friday of this Passion Week. What an amazing passage of scripture. What an amazing fulfillment of prophecy here in Matthew's Gospel. Jesus Christ, the humble, righteous, salvation-bringing King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Take some time then as a family, perhaps, as an additional portion, and read together Psalm 72 later on this evening. This description by the psalmist of a perfect king, of an ideal king. And note how much of that passage, if not all of it, is fulfilled by Jesus Christ, the righteous, and can only be filled by him. I hope this has been helpful as we look at this Palm Sunday, this triumphal entrance of Jesus into the city of Jerusalem. And we will hopefully see you uh, tomorrow via video when we look at the activities of the Monday of the Passion Week of Jesus Christ.